Uh, it was nice that we got, uh, you know, to take Ozzy out and that he only had to play 45 minutes. I think that was good. Uh, didn't get any injuries, uh, so that was good. You had said that you might have to use unconventional lineups and that you figured you had people in the roster who would rise. Did you kind of, kind of see that today? Well, you know, it was obviously good to see Sammy Ochoa score. You know, it's a good early goal, you know, to get us off the off the mark there. You know, we ended up uh, because Zach Scott had a injury that came up late, you know, so we put Brad Evans at right back. You know, I thought he did a good job again at right back for us. So that was a little bit of a change of pace uh, as well. Um, you know, uh, obviously Cordell got an opportunity to play. I think his speed put some... Uh, you know, gave them some problems, and he was, you know, heavily involved with our with our second goal, with the ball that he laid through to Andy Rose. Uh, so obviously, different people uh, got to step up, and Andrew Weber, I think, came up with a big save with the, when the score was one nothing. Uh, and those are kind of saves that you know, you know, goalkeepers need to make that uh, that help you win games. Big night for Andy Rose. Can you start with you know, I mean, Andy's always going to give you everything he has when he steps on the field, and uh, you know he's got a good work rate. You know, he ended up getting a goal, uh, ended up ended up getting an assist. Uh, you know, so it was good. It was good from the number side, you know, for him. But uh, you know, especially when Ozzy went out, he was the one who sort of you know had to run our game a little bit more. It took a little while to get him into that into that rhythm. But I thought as the second half went on, he he became better at it. But uh, you sort of become. Uh, uh, when you have Ozzy behind you, you sort of become, uh, I don't know what the word is really, it's not really complacent, but you you sort of feel, okay, the guy's always going to get the ball behind me so I can take a shortcut here or cheat there because he'll win that and, and get it out to me. And, and so those things change a little bit. But I, I thought Andy did well tonight. What did you think of Cervantes? I mean, you know, and Servando's minutes have been limited. He's he's played he's played some very good minutes for us in MLS when he's come off the bench, uh, you know. And and I know Servando probably feels he could have played better than he did tonight. You know, I know he's the kind of guy who's very introspective, uh, you know. But uh, you know, I mean, I mean, we got a penalty called against us. We had chances in the second half to score two, three more goals. You know, Kennedy's chance. Uh, you know, the save that the and their goalkeeper makes on Sammy Ochoa. So I mean, it, it could have been it could have been more. So from from Carrasco's perspective, uh, you know, it changes it changed our rhythm a little bit. We're so used to Ozzy, but uh, you know, it, he did okay. How much did those does that penalty and then the the near goals bug you, knowing that you know the the seedings for the quarterfinals? I mean, I realize it's looking far ahead, but I mean, is that something you worry about at this point? The most important thing is to get three points and get a win. You know, if we win games, we're going to get points and. Uh, then we don't have to worry about goal difference. Uh, you know, you only got to worry about goal difference if you're planning to drop some games along the way. So we want to, we want to win all our games. So if we can win all our games one nothing, and the other team can win one game seven nothing, we don't really care as long as we beat that team that wins seven nothing. So, uh, and for us right now, we're in a in a tough stretch of games. You know, we got LA coming up on Sunday. We got an Open Cup final on Wednesday. We have got San Jose and San Jose the following Saturday. Uh, so, you know, a little bit of it was, you know, let's let's get the win, let's manage the game, let's not kill ourselves, uh, you know, per se. And it was great that we got the early goals and we had a 3 nothing halftime lead. So as a result, you know, the work that maybe we had, to, the work we put in the second half was not as great as the work we would have had to put in if we were tied or if we were, you know, trying to trying to make up, make up a deficit. So from that standpoint, it was good. Do you feel like uh, Caledonia? All the scouting you did on Caledonia, whether it was YouTube or otherwise, you feel like uh, it paid off and were they basically what you expected? Well, we had their lineup pretty right, which I thought was pretty amazing. You know, we had uh, we had 10 out of the 11 right, you know, so there's only one guy that was in the starting lineup that we didn't expect. And we and we actually had him had him in the right position, so that was good too. So uh, you know, so I was happy with I was happy with that. But we knew they had good size. You know, they got some physical players. Uh, you know, we knew they were going to be dangerous on on set pieces. You know, which they were. They got the penalty on a long throw as well. Uh, so uh, yeah, I thought we were we were okay with that. What scares you most about their team when they return leg? Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, the travel down there is difficult. 
uh, you know, so trying to, you know, make sure that we've got the accommodations right, that we get the travel right, that we recover from the travel well enough, you know, that's the, that's the biggest area of concern for us going into that return leg. And then obviously, uh, you know, every team's going to play better at home, you know, so we have to be, uh, we have to be a little sharper than we were tonight. Any particular player you're looking at, like some of their, their wingers look like they're pretty speedy. Yeah, they've got fast wingers and they've got, you know, you know, big center forward in Gay uh, up front. You know, he's a, he's a handful for sure, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and they got a big, uh, a big center back for a while. I thought it was Gooch. Wasn't sure, but he's a big guy. Me preguntaron si podría hacer un anuncio y pensé que era porque yo juego para los Seattle Sanders. No puedo, porque mi inglés no es muy bueno. That's true. Entonces me dijeron que el anuncio era de padres niños y familias. Eso es muy importante para mí y le dije que yo hago lo que puedo hacer. No importa cuál idioma tú hablas, hay un idioma universal que nuestros niños comprenden y necesitan. Y es el amor y el cariño de los padres. Be a good parent, a same ball in your child's life.